thoughts betray you. Abend. This is Nuke, and I'm about to cast Jang B versus Mini in the round of eight. Best of five series. God, it's gonna be so good. As Reggie Fizeme would say, my body is ready. <laughs> Except, up at the two o'clock position in green is Jang B. So Jang B's up there in green, meaning Mini was down at the eight o'clock position. In purple. So many's in purple, Jangbi in green. And Gladiator is going to be our double map for the day. Played in sets one and five, if we get to five. And as I said, I'm pretty freaking pumped. I was walking home in the crisp night air, beautiful night, or rabbit bounded in front of me. And I'm like, hey rabbit, listen up. You get out of my way, because I gotta go in there and watch two guys play video games. That's right, Mother Nature, you got told. But okay. I think it's time for some predictions from the Nuka Knights. I have a hell of a lot written down here, so we better get to them pretty quick. Before the strategies branch off and we see some nuttiness from the two Protoss players. Here's one from Danny Ramirez, writes, Jangbi will mop the floor with many with all his experience in big games. I predict another final run and OSL victory. Three exclamation points. Here's another one from Plummet Ru or Plummet Ru writes, Jangbi will 3-1 many. The one loss will be the first game where Jangbi will still warm up before starting to play. The reason is that many has never shown good enough level of play in PvP to be a real competitor against the reigning champ. Maybe he didn't have the chance and maybe it's just non-existent. Tee hee, Jangbi FTW. Whoa, a lot of exclamation points. Types out the number one a lot. He, he types let it, the word one and then ends it with Russian characters. So that was just an explosion of punctuation there. All right. Let's get another one. Why not? See the cybernetics core coming up for mini. Should see it soon from the reigning champ Protoss dude named J -J 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 Jang B. Or Jong B. I know it's technically Jong B, but it looks like Jang B, and that's what I've been calling him for such a long time that, you know what? I'm not going to start calling him Jong B. Now, in the last OSL, come on. I'm a creature of habit. There's the cybernetics core from the Jang B man. And Jang B went out, out the scout a lot quicker than many did, and that's probably why many got up his cybernetics core quicker because he kept that scouting probe at home to get the minerals. But okay. So, Jang B's going to get a much earlier scout if he can stay in with that probe. Let's get one more prediction for this game before things heat up. Here's one from George Osborne, writes, I know this is a long shot, but I want the finals to be Mini versus Shine. A PVZ finals that will forever, <laughs> that will be forever remembered as the least hypeable game ever. Let the OSL go out and with a big good riddance. <laughs> I can get behind that. But actually I want to see a Mini vs. Flash finals. I came in on Movie vs. Flash and I want to go out on another PVT Royal Road vs. Flash. Nuke fightings! Exclamation points and ones. 15 exclamation points and six ones is what he wrote there. I don't know if I believe that. I'll have to double check his math later. Okay. Jengbi trying to sneak in, see what's happening. The second gateway coming up for Mini now, and I see his old oh, three gateways, three gateways up for Mini. Oh, is he, is he gonna go for the quad damage build? I wanna see the quad damage build today, guys. My favorite build. I know it's become popularized because of StarCraft 2, all the Protoss players going for four gate. 
so that people go back to Brood War games are like, hey, it looks like ST uh, C2 is rubbed off on the guys. Oh my god, quad damage build! Quad damage build from Jangby. Okay, gotta play the sound. Okay, I'm gonna insert the sound right there. Quad damage build from Jangby. Four gates opening it up, and only three from many, it looks like, but they're both going very aggressive in this game. Lots of gateways, lots of craziness coming up, and there's the robotics facility on the way for many. So he has the three gateways and the robotics facility, but this is going to be all-out aggression ground troops from Jangbi. Duh, love it. Okay. Robotics facility about to come up. And let's see, I see the Dragoon range spinning for Jangbi as well. He's going to have a hell of a lot of Dragoons out in the map. And I'm pretty sure that many will be surprised by the amount of Dragoons he runs into, seeing as though he hasn't been able to get a real scout in this game. He's just uh, focused on <laughs> keeping his probes at home, get his, getting his economy cooking. There's the robotic support bay for many. And Jangbi is just amassing at the moment. They're both amassing and they're both going to try to play aggressive, which should make for some excellent engagements in the middle of the map once we get that far. So far, Mini has the stronger army, it looks like. Uh, Jangbi was saving up for those. Oh, Jangbi's going to be caught out of position. Bat Here comes Mini. Looks like they both have about the same number of Dragoons and a couple of Zalots coming in now for Jangbi might be the deciding factor. And this, he holds the high ground area and forces Mini back for now. Yeah, Mini's forced to go back because, yeah, Jangbi would definitely be able to outpump him as far as Dragoons and Zealots go, but the Reaver could definitely uh, <laughs> decide those engagements in the middle for uh, Mini. And there's Jangbi getting another scout inside of Mini's main. Mini main. Fun size main. All right, Jangby just hanging outside that natural, and he's going to have plenty of reinforcements flooding in soon for a big attack. Um, I think he was hoping that Mini would eventually expand here, which would make this type of build a lot more effective, but Mini hasn't expanded yet. He's focusing everything on the three gateways and the reavers. Just now got the reaver up, hit R on it a lot to get up the scarabs. And he should be able to defend his front with the Reaver as long as he gets some uh, nice micro here in the back. But here comes Jangbi trying to break through, trying to go for the Reaver. He's trying to snipe the shuttle first. So the shuttle goes down, but Jangbi outnumbered at uh, Mini's natural expansion. <laughs> There's the Reaver staying just out of harm's way. And Jangbi forced back. So the quad damage build is not going to be used to uh, maximum effectiveness in this game, I think because he's just going to run into too much resistance with the Reavers out in the map now. But uh, Jang B's grouping up with his Dragoons. He might go for another attack soon. Neither seems intent to expand in this game, which I say I have to say doesn't surprise me that much. Uh, with the recent games, players have been so freaking cheesy. So freaking cheesy. It, this might be one of the shortest OSLs in history. Um, uh, mostly because of the all Zerg group, of course, that helps out with the shortness, but everyone else has just been cheesing like crazy. <laughs> it's kind of entertaining to watch, though. I enjoy it, but, okay, uh, Jangby's moving out with a ton of Dragoons. The Reavers aren't brought out to join the rest of this army, though, so many might have to back off for a second. I'm pretty sure he's outnumbered as far as Dragoons go. It'd be a bit awkward to attack them in the middle of the map like this, but I don't see the Reavers being brought in yet for many. He sent up a probe just to get a scout and keep tabs on this army, but uh, Minnie's holding his ground in the middle, even though uh, uh, Jangby's coming forward. There is the shuttle getting in there with the Reavers, and the Reavers enough to scare Jangby off for now. Yeah, Jangby just sniping what he can before running away from the Scarabs. Getting away from the Scarabs is <laughs> so awkward to attack in the middle of the map like this. So many obstructions down there, but Jangby trying to surround, take out the, sh the freaking Reavers. He gets one of the Reavers. The shuttle goes down with the other Reaver in it, so Jangby does take that engagement <laughs> against all odds. Quad damage build working out pretty well, actually, for Jangby. 
now that he was able to micro around, snipe the shuttle and the two Reavers that were out, which were the big advantage for many. Many now building a Citadel Vatum before the second base even comes up. It's kind of a crazy game, actually, because Jangbi seems intent just to keep on pumping. There's nothing else that I see. Uh, he's getting ready to put down his second base and uh, get his economy going. Since, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely at the stage of the PvP where you gotta do that. And I have a feeling that they're both going to try to deny those nexuses. As here come many heading out with his Dragoons. I don't think he has a backup Reaver yet. Hasn't pumped one. So he might not even take this engagement. Jangbi pulling back with the injured Dragoons. Love to see good Dragoon micro like that. It's uh, kinda all too rare in PvPs. But Jangbi is mostly focused on his micro at the front right now. So he hasn't uh, <laughs> quite had the time to put down his Nexus. Just got the minerals to do it. So he should plop that down soon. As soon as he's in here trying to snipe down. Snipe down? Interesting. Snipe the Reaver. Templar Archives up uh, for many. Wow. So he could be going straight into Dark Templar for an attack? Because uh, Jambi definitely has no um, detection at the moment. The observers, I think, are pointing that out. No detection at all, no robotics facility, or uh, <laughs> the freaking forge out to build cannons. And Jangbi is just all in with the, the quad damage build at the moment. Yeah, he's built his second base, of course, so he can transition into something else. But right now, it's all aggression. And if he, if Mini does pump Dark Templar, that'll definitely help out with the defense. But uh, let's see if Jangbi gets up detection in time. This could be nuts, but the Reaver doing a good enough job of protecting at the moment. Uh, Jangbi still has an awful lot of Dragoons, so he could go in, snipe the Reaver, and get out of there. <coughs> but the Robotics Facility just now coming up. Here comes the Dark Templar. Oh, this could be close. If Mini sends those Dark Templar all the way to Jangbi's base, which I think he's trying to do, he's trying to sneak by with Dark Templar. Trying to make sure that Jangbi didn't see that glitch on the map, but Jangbi might have seen it now. Yeah, the Dark Templar are attacking the, the Dragoons at the front. So that one Dark Templar should be enough to protect Mini's front for a while. And Jangbi, oh my god, that robotics facility has got to get up soon. And he's got to get up the observatory because he has no other means of detection. There's no time to put down a forge and cannons. So Jangbi could be screwed. He's just now putting down the forge and he's blocking with forges. He's walling in with forges as he's trying to decimate um, Mini's base. But this will all come down to if Jangbi can get some kind of detection up. He's got the forges! Just trying to hold on long enough for the robotics facility to come up. Jangbi's gonna, he's gonna try to s s <laughs> warp in another forge as soon as one goes down here and hold that wall. Yeah, he's got the probe there, ready to do it. Okay, let's see... Oh, the probe not able to build another, another forge, so... Man, Jamie, he just now got up the observatory, so Minnie's going to try his best to snipe this robotics facility. Oh, Jamie doing a pretty good job of glitching the probes through and trying to get the probes to uh, <laughs> glitch the Dark Templar away from this robotics facility, keep them from taking it down, because the robotics facility is in yellow, it's red. Oh, the observer comes up. One observer out for Jamie, and that's going to be enough. Wow. This has been... <laughs> Probably the craziest game of the OSL so far. What a great start to the series. But, yeah, Mini, now he's dealing with Jane B on two bases with one single observer that managed to get up before the robotics facility was destroyed. So, yeah, very limited mining from Mini on the other side. He doesn't have a whole lot of probes at all. And, yeah, he, he, he's eventually going to be steamrolled by Jane B's economy. More Dark Templar trying to sneak up there. GG! From many, <laughs> that was awesome. So Jang B takes a brilliant game one. Good thinking to hold with those forges. He might have lost otherwise. Okay, let's move on to the second set.